Oh, well, it's that open lie again, isn't it? Disney executives <laughs> knew all about the egregious conduct by X Distribution VP and did nothing, SA suit claims. Now, this was new to me. Didn't know this until today. But anyway, let's have a look at this. By 2022, many people in management were aware of Gonzalez's egregious conduct and what he did to the plaintiff, alleges an SA suit filed yesterday by a current Disney employee against the Mouse House, its ex-VP of distribution, Nolan Gonzalez, and various former Fox assets. Interesting. A plaintiff overheard a chairperson at Disney say that Gonzalez was a pervert and that other women uh, at the company felt the same way. The jury trial-seeking complaint bluntly adds, even though individuals and management were aware of Gonzalez's conduct, they concealed their knowledge from human resources. Oh, boy. Mm. So the oh, SA... And uh, S battery uh, retaliation and seven other claims suit was filed on January 2nd in LA Superior Court by a Jane Doe, who is a near decade long staffer at Fox and now Disney. Interesting. Uh, detailing lurid alleged conduct by former executive Gonzalez, the complaint spawns the one time supervisory level employees. Uh, almost entire duration at the now merged companies from 2014 onwards. So uh, the time span that reads like a fast, decent in descent. Sorry, although they have literally written read, written decent. So deadline, you fucking stupid. Uh, into corporate hell. Plaintiff was not Gonzalez's first victim, nor his last. Ooh. Anyway. Uh, so basically, it's pretty awful stuff uh, by the sounds of it. So getting explicit at times, the suit reads. Uh, it lists nights, days, and years of aggressive touching from almost the start of her time at Fox as an executive assistant. Things quickly escalated to Gonzalez, allegedly forcing Jane Doe into uh, ingesting illicit drugs and encouraged plaintiff to consume excessive amounts of alcohol <laughs> so that he could uh, abuse her with limited resistance or questioning. Many employees, including those in management, were aware of his uh, harassing behaviours to women within the company and to others in the industry. I wish somebody would come and warm. force me to take some illicit drugs. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, no, we, we, we can do it at the HCast live. How about that? <laughs> um, in 2016, plaintiff, I'm not touching you. Plaintiff was warned by the coordinator, coordinator prior to the annual conference in Las Vegas to watch out for Gonzalez. The coordinator warned her by saying, I can feel it's going to be you this year. I mean, there's more. But it's pretty much all the same kind of stuff, to be fair. I mean, you know, management was incentivized to hide Gonzalez harassment because he generated valuable revenue as a director of distribution. Management did not escalate concerns to HR, created an environment in which Gonzalez was free to harass women with impunity. Women were discouraged to come forward about his behaviors because management seemingly accepted Gonzalez's conduct as being part of the entertainment industry and his firing would hurt the company financially. Uh, Gonzalez made... This guy we've this, never no. heard of before, huh? Uh, yeah, well, this is true. I've never heard of him before, I mean, it is interesting. Mm, yeah. um, I mean, I'm not sticking up for him, and I'm not saying anything, you know, didn't happen. I'm just saying, like, well, it's I just have a hard time believing that, that anybody is indisposable in a world where we live, where a movie got shut down because somebody didn't like a joke that Bill Murray made. <laughs> mm. Yeah, this is, yeah, well, yeah, absolutely. This is very, very true. Um, I, I mean, especially in the Me Too age, I have a hard time believing somebody would cover up for somebody that nobody's ever heard of before. The, the, this like a true. monkey could probably true. do his fucking job. Well, yeah. I mean, let's be fair. He's a VP. Exactly. exactly a fucking VP. monkey could do his goddamn job. Right. But, <laughs> well, it is. But, it but is it's a power dynamic know. issue, you know, whether you want to believe it or not. That so, I agree I with, but this whole thing just smells weird to me. I don't well, know. It, well, it is important to note, Jane Doe's appeal to the courts has been facilitated by the Golden State's SA and Cover-Up Accountability Act. However, like several of those similar suits, Jane Doe filed after the December 31st, 2023 expiration of the act. So she didn't even... So basically, it's that act that enables you to get historical claims of abuse and things like that straight into the courts. Yeah, they had thousands uh, of files claimed in like a matter yeah, of Yeah, but she days. didn't yeah. even... I mean, she stayed working at the company for 10 years. She's still there. That's another thing too, yeah. And and she didn't file it 
she didn't file it. She's, I mean, she's, she's outside of the date. I'm not sure if I believe much of this, quite frankly. That's what I'm, I mean, I'm again, I don't want to, I don't want to say I don't believe a victim, but yeah, you do believe all women, Tom forcing them to take drugs and alcohol. There probably I mean, wasn't much forcing. That's what I'm saying. Well, this yeah, sounds to me uh, more like uh, after the fact, they regretted getting a little too wild. Yeah. It's definitely a possibility in today's day and age. So, well, what do we think, guys? Thoughts? Come on, sock it to me. <sighs> For me, I, I mean, this kind of stuff seems to happen a lot in Holly Weird. Uh, there's always seems to be some weird shit yeah. like this going on and you don't, and, and you've had instances where it's been true and other instances where it's complete made up bullshit. And so for me, anytime I hear stuff like this, I'm like, I, I don't even know what side to believe. Uh, mm. this stuff abs absolutely does happen. Um, but right. a lot of people are just are completely fabricating a lot of it too so it's like you know what side do you believe i mean for me it's just like all right you know where's the where's the evidence uh and in her actions and behavior of sticking around and and all that it's just seems a little bit off well, the uh, fact that they say that this is was well known in this environment mm. like sounds like a pay or play deal or play to yeah play to play <laughs> Yeah, and people were accepting of it. If that's the case, I'm not condoning it. Sounds to me just she's bitter that she didn't get what she was promised. It's kind of like Ooh. the Weinstein situation. Yeah, yeah. I don't know who's in the right and who's the wrong, but uh, but I do know one thing: there appears to be a proportionally more of these stories coming out from Disney than many other places. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you yeah. have like various people associated with with offenses that begins with the letter P, coming out yeah. in the last few years. Here, I mean, there's one every few months that's being called. There was one recently or something, literally two weeks ago. Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. Like every few weeks, there's like a new new guy being caught for some, let's just say, horribly illicit behavior. Basically, at this so point, when you hear something like this, you're like, oh well, that's not so bad as the other stuff. <laughs> Uh, exactly. I was like, oh, well, yeah, that's what like, we got to. Yeah. Yeah. I, was I like, hate to oh, say it like that, but bad. yeah. Nice try. Nice I mean, try. but compared to some other stuff that Disney staff have been been caught doing, I mean, this was so bad. I mean, it's not defending this, but by comparison. So, yeah, like, um, uh, Nick, you're completely right. This is like some Hollywood shenanigans, but there's more Hollywood in Disney than in the rest of Hollywood, it will appear to me and i believe that goes back to who they have chosen to hire they have chosen to hire uh hire uh people of that fits like certain dei criteria right like for instance mm. you practically have like on disney disney job applications if you're if you're straight and white you need not apply well, this um, this, this more, person, it's important to note, this person was working for Fox previously, so she's just carried over from working for Fox. I mean, uh, that's true. Yeah, that's, that's a whole so, a Hollywood issue different. in general, but, but still. Yeah, okay, so this particular one, that may be a Hollywood in general issue, but otherwise, Disney in particular, mm. I do believe with the kind of staff they have chosen to recruit and the kind of culture that we see seeping down mm. from the very top, you are more likely to get certain kinds of behavior than other places but of course it's also a hollywood thing as you said this is something that was inherited from fox yeah 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 i mean look i i'm not sure whether i massively believe it or not i mean look if they came out and said bob Iger has been touching kids i'll be straight i'll believe it instantly absolutely 100 <laughs> yeah. percent. i would believe that in an instant <laughs> yeah. i would and then that would, that would i would absolutely explain why kathleen kennedy's been uh, around this whole time because she'd come out and be like, I knew it. That's why I was able to keep my job. But however, this, not so much. I don't, you know, eh, 
the the thing which is slightly concerning with respect to this is just the the length of time. It's only it's only been allowed to go in now at a certain point because there's a, a an act that allows the lawsuit to take place, even though they haven't even uh, hit their like you know they haven't even met the the deadline for the lawsuit, which is again another red flag against it as well. Um, and and as everyone else says. There's so many other things going on. This genuinely doesn't even seem that bad, which sounds awful to say, because obviously this stuff, you know, if this is true, this is pretty bad. But there's so much other stuff that Disney do and their employees that do that you're like, oh, yes, you know, this is like, it's not even that bad by comparison, for goodness sake. Like, it's crazy to, to even think that, quite frankly. That's the state um, that we're in right now. <laughs> yeah. That's how bad Disney's become. Yeah. No matter how many pedos they bloody employee uh, employ. God damn. Um, do you want to take us home with this then, Culture? What's your final thoughts? Uh, my final thoughts are that this is something that's going to continue to go on for years. The end of the Weinstein era has never really ended, and he wasn't the only one that was you know, doing the bad things. And Disney inherited mm. Weinstein and his company. Uh, amongst other many problems, um, you know, if 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 you were to look around in Hollywood and wonder why everybody used to, you know, was cocaine and hookers, um, they just they eliminated the hookers and the cocaine, but they were still able to have sex and drugs. So, I mean, this is not a surprise yeah. to me, and I don't think it should surprise anybody. And no. Even if even if this particular person the claims are specious or inaccurate or whatever, I still this still continues to happen. There are still couches everywhere. So. Mm. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, Hairless Primate drops in with a super chat uh, relevant to this. Says Disney for for five pounds and says Disney wants to try less woke activists need woke. This is the catalyst they need. I smell a fish. They're not trying less woke, mate. Come on now, behave. They say that it's all lip service. Yeah, all definitely. lip service. It's never happening. I mean, as evidence, they never said that. All Bob said is he was going to try and quiet the noise. Yeah, which is just I don't the mean shit surrounding it. And obviously, he hasn't even done a good job do doing that. No, no, this is true. Not this with this story true. coming out. Like, I wonder. Yeah. Like, there is kind of a. I think you brought this up in your in the recent video we dropped today, Andre, where like bob doing this at this point i can't believe it either but he has to because it's part of his legacy or whatever but yeah uh, my god i would stop this woman from talking publicly at this point if you really want to quiet down the noise sure yeah. well, problem is that with this particular woman though referring back to 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 uh to the ray director she doesn't have to say anything in public, your past statements mm. are already out there. He needs to shut down the movie in its current form. Uh, he, he can't, I mean, if he has to do a Ray movie, he can't have her anywhere near it. Unfortunately, yeah. that's too late now. Uh, because if he shuts it down now, he's going to be accused of uh, of uh, betraying the cause. And you know how, how those people are, right? There's no brownie points that matter for past actions the moment that you go against the narrative you're an enemy i mean it's it's kind of it's like in hellraiser bloodline that i know mr h has uh, seen right where you basically okay, like yeah. you can do whatever you want but the moment that you no longer act in the interests of hell we're gonna have to come for you dead that's a good analogy i like that one I do like that one. Well, we also um, know now that uh, Adam Driver is going to have absolutely nothing to do with this movie, so you don't even get Ghost Daddy. I, yeah. You know why? Because Adam Driver has at least some level of integrity, it would appear. Well, he also has a career, so there is that as well. But we're That's shuffling true. ever so slightly off topic from this one in particular.